everybody and welcome to the Mental Toughness and Body Show. My name is Rob Evans and I'm your weight loss coach, health strategist and internationally published author, helping take your life, your business, your health, fitness, mindset and body from where you are to where it is that you want to be. And today I want to ask you a question. How many times have you been knocked down before? How many times? How many times have you gotten back up? Hopefully every single time. How many times when you were learning to walk as a baby, do you think you fell down? Well, I'd be willing to guess that it would be thousands, right? But what you did was you kept trying and you kept trying and today you can walk because, most of us, because you kept trying. You didn't give up. You never gave up. And despite all the things that came along, despite all the tears, all the bumps on the head, all the bumps on your bottom when you fell over, you kept going. You never gave up. And yet, as we get older, there are so many things that we don't go for. And why do you think you can learn to walk as a baby? Is it because you see so many other people walking around and you think, hmm, I can do that. I'm sure that's true. If everybody was crawling around when we were babies, if everybody was crawling on their hands and knees, then that's what we'd be doing. We'd be crawling around on our hands and knees. But because we see other people doing it, we can see that it's possible. If they can do it, I can do it. And this is what I love about studying success and successful people. It's this obsession that I have to see what are those common traits that people have, those highly successful people across any area, any industry, any sport, coaches, you name it, high-performance athletes, billionaires. You can see that each one of them has very similar traits. All you need to do is look for the commonalities. And say, okay, well, let's just take a sport, for instance. I'll take a sport that I have absolutely zero skill in, and that is the sport of soccer or football, depending on which country you come from. And let's take a look at some of the, the greatest soccer players of all time. Um, Messi, Ronaldo, players like that. Now, have I got the ability to be like a Ronaldo? What I would say at my age, no, I don't. He's taller than me, he's got more skills than me, he's been playing since he was a young kid. Uh, He's one of the most talented soccer players on the planet and that's ever lived. But what can we learn from him? Can I learn to be a better soccer player from him? Well, I'm sure if I studied him and I started playing soccer, that I could learn some of his skills and learn what he's done and I could improve from where I am to, uh, you know, to improve uh, from not really knowing how to kick a ball properly to having some skills in, in doing that. And if I practice for hours and hours and hours, then I could learn how to do that. But instead of doing that, what I would do is pull apart and say, okay, so what are the things that have led him to be the greatest or one of the greatest on earth? And that is his work ethic. His work has an unbelievable work ethic. Now, if we just pause there for a moment and we look at other successful people, I know if we go to the sport of basketball, people like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, um, great players like that have an incredible work ethic. Always the first there, always the last to leave. Repeating shots over and over and over so they can do it with their eyes closed. Look at the highly successful people, highly successful billionaires, millionaires, those people that you follow perhaps, that you want to emulate, I guarantee you they have an incredible work ethic. I've spoken to uh, a number of Olympic athletes and listened to dozens and dozens of Olympic athletes' stories and heard about their work ethic is unbelievable. They say their work ethic will outdo skill any day. Because you can have a great skill if you don't have a good work ethic, then you're not working to your potential. So work ethic is a a great one, right? So then I look at other elements of what, if we go back to Ronaldo and think about, okay, so what are some of the other things that he has in him that I could take out that haven't got anything to do with soccer, but have got a lot to do with success? And one is about uh, mindset. And again, a tremendous mindset. And you think about the mindset of all successful people, Unbelievable. Yeah, it's very positive. It's very strong. It's very tough. Another element. All people 
that have been successful have had an incredible amount of adversity in their life. They've had hardship. They've had knockbacks. They've had injuries. They've had a whole range of different things. Your billionaires have been broke or close to broke once before. They've started with nothing and they've ended up with whatever they could ever dream of because they've had this mindset of, I know that I'm going to learn from my failures. I know that I'm going to fail, accept those failures, learn from them and move on. All successful people go through that. And so what I'm starting to learn as I'm building this success strategy for myself is all these successful people are going through things that I I am going through and I feel I'm going through. Now, are they doing it on a bigger scale for me? Then yes. But I can learn from what they're doing. Just like we go back to that story of walking. I can emulate the key qualities that these highly successful people are are putting in their life and I can put them in my life and I can practice them and implement them over and over again, keep tweaking where I need to and get great results for me. And that's what I love doing. So one of the things about being knocked down is knowing that all successful people have gone through so much adversity before you and they've created something beyond probably their wildest dreams when they they started out. I'm sure when Steve Jobs started his journey with Apple, with uh, with Wozniak, that uh, they didn't think that they would create a trillion dollar company. And sadly, Steve wasn't around to see that, but maybe in his mind, he saw that he was going to create the richest company on earth or help be a key part of that. But I'm sure at the beginning when he was in his garage that he, he wasn't conceiving that he would create one of the greatest companies of all time and the, the greatest, most globally recognised brands of all time. But because he used those success strategies of following what others were doing and knowing that if you keep persevering, you can achieve absolutely anything that you want. So here's the thing that I want you to take away from today. You might be going through something that's really, really tough for you right now, really hard. You don't know how to get through it and you feel like you're on the floor. You're on the canvas, if you like, in boxing terms. You've been almost knocked out or you've been knocked out. That's what it feels like to you. And you think, I just don't know how I'm going to come back from this. Well, here's the first thing that you need to do. You need to look up. And if you can look up, you can stand up. And if you can stand up, then you can start again. Or you can start from where you left off. And know that you're not going to give up. Because every time you give up on something, you lose a part of you. And every time you don't give up and you keep pushing forward, you grow a part of you. And each time you push into that resistance and you push into that failure, you know that you're getting stronger you're getting more capable and you know that you're not going to allow this to happen to you again because you're stronger, smarter this time. You're more resilient. But you have to keep going. And maybe you're sitting there listening to this right now and you aren't in your peak physical position of your life. You're not in the best health of your life. You're not as strong. You don't look as good as you would like to look. And you think... I've tried so many things before and nothing works. Or I'm in this place in my life where I can't see myself moving beyond this. You feel like this might be something for you in many years to come, when you've got more time, or when the kids are older, or when you don't have so much pressure at work, or all the planets seem to be lining up for you and you seem to be able to do it now. Well, I'm here to tell you that that time will never come if that's your mindset right now. Because there will always be things that happen in your life. And if you look over the last 10 years, have you ever gotten quieter over that last 10 years? And I think it would be fairly safe to say that each year that has gone by, you've gotten busier and busier and busier. No matter what it is that you're doing in your life, it just gets busy. And the days get shorter, the years go faster. And unless you are 
strategically planning your life and the success for your life, you'll find that maybe the last 10 years have gone by and you're not really sure what you've got to show for it. That's true for so many people because they just live for getting through to the weekend and then chilling out, partying, whatever, and then it all starts over again on Monday. And not having that really fulfilled life which you really aspire to and dream of. But you can have it all. Maybe you can't have it all at the same time, but you can have it all. And certainly when it comes to your health and your fitness and your mindset and the body that you want, you can have it. You can have what you want. And you can have it now, but you do have to be prepared to work for it, just like any success in your life. You can't just expect it to show up. And even if there was a magic pill for you to say, bang, I can take this and it will give me the body that I want, that wouldn't give you everything that you want because you haven't created it yourself. It's like people that win the lottery, they lose it pretty quickly because they haven't earned it. They haven't built that respect for it. And that's the same with your health and wellness as well. That's why I see many people that have had uh, the gastric sleeve surgeries and they lose a lot of weight because their stomach can no longer hold the food that it could hold before. So they're physically forced to eat so much less because they can't fit it in anymore. So they lose all this weight, but they've learnt nothing. And they still have a horrible relationship with food. They don't have a strong mindset. They haven't built the lifestyle components that they need to be able to maintain this life. All they're left with is a dramatically reduced body fat, body, same mindset, still a poor relationship with food and still not happy and still often seeing the same person that they saw before. Even though everybody else sees a different person, they still see the same person. It comes off so quickly and they haven't built that great relationship with their health and wellness. So you need to do it in a way that is safe and sustainable and smart and fits within your schedule. And just because you haven't been able to do it before doesn't mean that you can't do it now. And I hear many people make up excuses as to why they are where they are and why they can't achieve anything different. And I'm going to tell you this. If you have this really strong, passionate belief that you can't do something, guess what? You're right. But if you also have that same belief around your ability to change something and what you can do, then you're also right. My job is to guide you and to say, let's get you passionate about what it is that you can do. I don't care about what you can't do or what you say you can't do. Let's make you into a can-do person and focus on all of those things that you are able to do if you put your mind to it. And just because you haven't been able to achieve something in the past does not mean that you never will. Maybe you just haven't had the right coaching, you haven't had the right approach, you haven't used the right system, you haven't done it in the right way. And many people right now listening to this when it comes to their health and wellness might say, I've tried everything. Well, no, that's just something that people say. You may have tried a lot of things, but you haven't tried everything. So today is a new day. You are a new, new person today in terms of having an opportunity to do something different if you choose to. If you want to do the same thing and tell yourself the same stories, then you're going to end up, guess where? In the same place. So it doesn't matter how many times you feel like you've failed, how many times you feel like you've been knocked out and you're on the floor, Look up, get up, start again. If you want to connect with me, go to the mentaltoughnessandbodyshow.com. Let's start a conversation. Let's start a connection. Let's get you everything that you want in 2021 and beyond. Stay safe. I'll see you tomorrow.